Welcome, guys. We're here. We finally have the game. It is the last semi-final for the EU finals. We're going to find out who will be joining BDS in that grand final. Okay. Oh, where? In server. 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 Cancel. Cancel. Server. Cancel. Yeah. That's not bad. Maybe go together. Hey. 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 Let's go, boys. Let's go. You should do it, boys. He went back there. Boom. No fucking time to react. Oh, good. 15 seconds remain. Pasha feeling the pressure, but he does still have the trusty 460. Yes! Goal, Let's go, boys. Good shit. Nice. Good problem solving right there. We took it easy, we didn't panic. Yeah. Oh, Kanto, baby! Woof! Dead in the service of Jesus. He knows he has the info. He takes down one the second with the nine mil. Pengu owns the logistics office, so now it's all on WTG. We have a yellow team, does he? He has some information. He can yes. spray down WTG through the wall. And this suddenly puts G2 back in the game. Pengu as well, adding on to it. Can Milon manage the duel? He does. He may have just given his team another chance, but not if Kanto has anything to say about it. Pengu as well. His free reign down below pays off as the C4 goes off. <laughs> in Milan's face, this Rask is going to be following up, dying. This could be it for G2 to finally make it onto match point as they sit at a four versus two, make that four versus one, make that four versus none. And Citizen sends G2 straight into match point. Looking for an aggressive push, this hacked drone from Mozzie is giving so much info and a yellow ping as well. Could we potentially see a C4? Below, oh and that's exactly what happens. Oh Call and you shall receive. I stepped. Ice, ice, ice. Let's go, let's go. 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 I'm gonna go to a look. I am nah, fucking busted. To be honest. Oh, fucking clap the cheeks. With them. That puts Pengu all alone. They have someone jumping in from one side. Another sees him in the corridor. Pengu gets one down to Shiko. Another one goes into a full smack. He's gonna kill Brine. He's planted, brother. Just go for him. If you can see him, you can see his head over the top of the table. Just shoot him. Finally, Pengu gets the shot. A triple kill comes out, and that will be G2 taking the round. I think Pengu was uncertain there for a second if there was even one more left. Is that a banshee in the sink? Yes. It got, it got a little bit dirty on the last operation. It needs a bit of a wash. Surprise, mother... Ah! always find creative ways to be able to use their utility. And Citizen says, my creative way of taking off the head of Ranchiro is to join him out, work out his exact position and barricade Pengu. The enemy of both teams in this series quite a few times. and still so many left alive from the side of BDS. They find one, can they find the next? C4 comes out, don't have to pull the trigger. He's going to try and contest nice and close, but Breedae has already backed away. He's a little bit too intuitive ah. in these moments. Looking for the longer angle, but they've managed to find it. Virtue getting the two closing kills, and G2 seemingly pulling a win out of nowhere. The call has been that after the one minute yeah. mark, the halfway mark of the nice. round, if they haven't pushed above, then you're meant to go back to site. And speaking of site, there is. Oh. They are really flash as well, trying to go for the low 180, the shields are all out with Virtue. This time it's his turn to shine with the triple kill coming through. Pengu's still outside here, they've got nothing to worry about, because Rafal is completely blind, he has no idea. There's one the Rafal, sprayed out, down to about a third of his HP. He's going to try and stick the defuse, Kanto comes up, hits him into the dirt. G2 are now the undisputed best team in Europe.